Today we're highlighting Manning's Ultimate Bloody Mary. This is Tell Mike Center. So we're here hanging at Tony's at the J House, and uh, again, Manny, thank you for having us. You're very welcome, my pleasure. Uh, today we're highlighting a, uh, one of my favorite drinks of all time, the Bloody Mary. My mission in life has always been to kind of bring it back and give those folks what they've always desired, is that perfect Bloody Mary. So let's get into the origin story. Like, how'd you land on Bloody Mary mix? Uh, Greenwich has been very kind. Um, I started out at a wonderful little wine shop here in town called Val's Putnam Wines. Along came a local who was planning a party. On her way out the door, she said, don't forget a Bloody Mary. Don't forget yeah. your Bloody Marys. And I'm like, but it's an afternoon party. I don't think they're going to want. Trust me, my guests are going to want Bloody Marys, yeah. verbatim. I ran home that night and I put together my old recipe and there was something missing. I wasn't quite sure what it was. It was good. It was what it was, but I took some ingredients from my Portuguese specialty food store that I owned back in 2009 to 2012 and uh, threw a few things, a few new things into it. And the next day I had 150 very, very nice, very sweet locals say, Manny, how do I get this into my fridge? How do I get this at home? Uh, the first year and a half, we were homemade, completely homemade. I fall into a spice category, so it kind of allowed me to do that. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, I don't cook or bake anything, so okay. th that was kind of the angle there. And um, put it in the fridge, and I sold the first case the next day within an hour. I had a taste and draw on the counter. Why do you think Bloody Marys are so important? Well, you know, they, they, they kind of transcend that cocktail genre. That's kind of how it really started off, was like that remedy, that, that day after remedy. Then someone realized that adding vodka to it you know, made it that much better, better yeah. and then it became what it is today. What is an ultimate Bloody Mary? Like, what's the right way to make <laughs> the it? The right Mary? way to make it is you- Don't give me the you, politicians. You go old school. You do what I used to do. You open up a Mr. Boston Bar book and you find those original eight ingredients and you follow the directions, okay. you know? It's all about the ratios. It's all about what's in, you know, that mixing glass. So you start off with great tomato juice, which is what we use, Sacramento okay. tomato juice. That's okay. your base. Our horseradish is grown organically upstate Connecticut, so that's number two ingredient. And horseradish is a root? It's a root. Yeah, yeah. And then you use ingredients like I use, Lee and Parents Worcestershire, true Tabasco. Uh, we re-mill our celery salt, uh, okay. fresh cracked pepper. I'm a Portuguese ascent, so I use some Portuguese sea salt in mine. Okay. Uh, you add some lemon juice. So all of those nuances make, those are the original eight ingredients, or the original ingredients of what a Bloody Mary should be. Got it. But then you throw in my four proprietary ingredients. Got it, okay. And then you have this. That's what makes it ultimate. Pushes it over the, the over the edge. You know, we've talked so much, I'm excited to actually try it. Let's do we've it. We've talked about it for so long, I've known you for so long, I've watched you for so long. You. I feel like Likewise. a lot of pressure is on me to enjoy this Likewise. right here, and I'm, yeah. I'm very excited. No pressure. Cheers. Congratulations on everything. Thank you so very, very much. And thank you for inviting me. I need a good Great pleasure on the show. What's like, you have a good uh, one? Peace, love, and prosperity. Peace, love, and prosperity. So one and all, absolutely. PLP. Mm. Yeah, good. it still it's, really it good. still does it. Listen, sometimes I gotta ham it up a little bit, but this is. You go through two phases. You go through a nice flavor in, in the front, and then the end is the heat. So Manny, tell the people, where can they find you? Well, in Greenwich, we're probably in about 30 locations alone. We're in almost 2,000 locations throughout the state of Connecticut. Wow. Uh, we have about 300 restaurants that um, that uh, serve us. And tons in town, right? You got tons here in Tony's. town. Tony's. I've been here at Tony's since day one, actually. They gave me an opportunity my very first week in business. I was still making it at home in my kitchen at the time. Uh, we're also at the Cascaber. Um, we're at Pasta Vera. Lobster Craft here in town has us. Uh, every store, every wine shop in town has us. A and lot if, of our and favorites. If, and a lot of all of our favorites. Yeah. I want to thank you for having us. We want a special thanks to Tony at the J House. Tony, thanks for letting us use your bar. Place is amazing. Stay at the J House. Thank you. And if you hang out here, you hang by the bar, make sure to order a Manny's Ultimate Bloody Mary. Some food, hang out all day. Tell Mike's saying. That's what we're talking about. Good episode.